time we looked at how God has commanded us to be set apart for His special purposes. That we are to ensure that we are vessels ready and prepared to be used by Him. We looked at five things that Paul encourages Timothy to pursue to ensure that he is a vessel ready and prepared for God's noble use. And these five things are to pursue righteousness, faith, love, peace, and unity, as Paul says in 2 Timothy 2. Today, I would specifically like to look at pursuing love. Now, in order for us to be effective in the kingdom, we need to love one another. And we can see that the Bible commands us to love one another and to also love God. Now, friends, firstly, love enables us to be effective witnesses for the gospel. The Bible says that it is by our love for one another that all men will know that we are his disciples. This is the characteristic that separates us from the rest of the world. Thus, friends, in order to be effective witnesses for the, God, for the gospel as God commanded us to be, we need to love one another. Secondly, love enables us to maintain the fellowship of believers. Now, friends, we all know that we are not perfect people. And even believers tend to sin against one another. But love covers over a multitude of sin. And love enables us to forgive one another and to maintain that fellowship of believers. Thirdly, friends, love is the driving force that springs us into action. 1 John 3 verse 17 says that if someone has enough money to live well and sees a brother or sister in need but shows no compassion, how can God's love be in them? Friends, it is the love of God that springs us into action. And if the love of God is in our hearts, it is that love that is the driving force to help our brother and sister. And if we do not help our brother or sister, the writer John doubts that the love of God is even in our hearts. Fourthly, friends, love enables us to live like Jesus. As the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 13 that love is patient like Jesus is patient love is kind Jesus laid down our lives his life for us so that our sins can be forgiven we can be justified and we can be made right with God it does not envy it does not boast it does not seek its own interest just like Jesus did not seek his own interest and came to do the will of the father imagine if we all were being made perfect in love how effective would we be for God and for His special purposes that He has set out for us in advance even before the world has begun? Friends, let us pursue the love the Spirit gives so we can be vessels purified for every good use that God has prepared for us. Let us pray. God, I pray that we would be effective vessels for you. God, where we struggle sometimes to forgive our brothers and sisters, enable us to do that. I pray, God, that we would be enabled through the Holy Spirit to forgive and to overlook wrongs. God, I pray that we would love one another so that all men will be able to know that we are His disciples by our love for one another. God, I pray that Holy Spirit would enable us to live like Jesus lived, in kindness, in patience, not seeking our own interests, but seeking the, in, the interests of others, my Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Friends, have an awesome day.